Hey guys, I just want to talk to you real quick about a product that I've had for a little bit now that I really like. This is a 105 watt portable solar panel made by EcoPower. You can see it has a very portable design. The panel itself is less than an inch in width. It has a Velcro pouch on the back that holds a 10 amp PWM charge controller. The charge controller has these two alligator clips which you can use to connect straight to your battery. It also has these two MC4 connectors which connect to the panel. The panel itself has a 15 foot extension cable which also has two MC4 connectors. Seems like it's a really nice product. Seems very high quality, very well made. Really nice design, I really like it. I know Eco Power sells this in a couple of different configurations. They have a 50 watt, a 70 watt, uh, the 105 watt, also I believe a 150 watt and maybe a 200, along with a lot of other products. So real quick, I'm gonna show you how I set it up. All right, the first step is going to be connecting our charge controller to our vehicle's positive and negative battery terminals. To do that, you simply take the alligator clips and then you connect them to their corresponding posts. It should be red for positive, black for negative. And then what you want to see is a solid green light on your charge controller, uh, signifying that we have a load on the charge controller. And then next we'll hook up our panel. You're gonna wanna find a bright, sunny, well-lit area free from shade to set up your solar panel. You'll notice that the panels will have these three supports which actually prop the panel up. You just simply fold it out, set up your supports. And then let the panel do its thing. Next, we're gonna take the extension cable, which comes out of the back of the panel and connect it to our charge controller. The last step is very simple. We just connect our MC4 plugs. And then you should see a solid green light come on where it says PV and now our vehicle's battery is charging. What I really like about this system is purely the portability and the ease of setup. I know that a lot of people opt for vehicle mounted solar panels, but I think the big drawback to that is you're now obligated to park your vehicle in a sunny well lit area if you want to charge your batteries. Whereas with this system, I can still park my Jeep in a shady spot and then I can move my panels to wherever the sun is. And as the day goes on, I don't have to readjust my vehicle. You know, I can just move the panels to wherever I need them and still get my charge. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, as always, feel free to like, hit the notification bell, and feel free to subscribe. All right, till next time, you guys take it easy.